Jake Marrick and I'm the Lanky Cyclist and I'm going to give a review today of my Chivello S3. And so this is a, I think a 2017 version of the Chivello S3, which I picked up for quite a good price from Sigma Sports um, a couple of years ago. And I use it for uh, road racing. And um, there are a few uh, changes that I made to the standard um, bike when I bought it. I mean, it's a 61 centimetre frame, as you can see, it's quite big. Obviously, I'm six foot five. Um, and a couple of changes that I made, which were quite, you know, important for changing the, the feel of the bike. Because number one was obviously the wheels. So uh, I recently got a set of the DT Swiss uh, 1180 Arc um, DT Swiss wheels, which. Now, I haven't actually road raced yet on, but I have used them a few times within time trials on my TT bike, and they seem pretty good. Um, I'm running those with Continental GP5000 tyres. Um, a couple of other changes that I made to the bike just to get my fit correct is um, I actually put on a longer stem, um, so it came with quite a short FSA stem, and um, to try and match with some of the colouring on the bike. Uh, I went for a red Ritchie WCS stem, which has got the full bolt pattern. It's slightly different in terms of the way that it works and uh, the way that the uh, bolts go in from the top and from the bottom. Uh, it's okay. Um, I mean, it does the job for me. Uh, and then I put in some spaces underneath here, which are also uh, a different shade of red. Um, I get the mix taken out of me a little bit about the uh, number of shades of red on this bike. But, um, anyhow, that, that extra length on the stem got me, uh, got me into my right position and I'm a bit more stretched out when it comes to racing. So the Chivello S3, um, it was actually, um, you know, came out, I think, for a number of years ago. I mean, I think the first incarnation of the Chivello uh, Aero uh, road frame was actually the Soloist. Um, God, a long, long time ago. Um, and they brought that out along with the R series, and it's actually got the, both the R series and the uh, the S series have the same uh, back end in the in, in the R three with this very slim seat post. So I've actually got an R three over here, which we'll, we can review at another point in time. But again, it's got exactly the same thin seat tubes, <coughs> and. Um, Whereas the more modern um, Chivalo S5 has quite a thick uh, element here, which is a bit more for the aero. Um, so this has kind of like, the S3 has a bit of a best of both worlds. Aero front and a bit more comfort from the back. So these slim seat stays actually give you a bit more comfort when you're riding um, out on the British roads. Um, so what other things have I upgraded on here? So. One of the other things which I think is that these are superb are the Arundel uh, bottle cages. So they look quite nice, um, but also they are fantastic for holding the bottles in place. Uh, I had done a couple of races um, over the years with um, much cheaper and maybe not so good uh, bottle cages. And when you lose a bottle in a race, it's, you know, it's almost game over. Uh, I've never lost a bottle with the Arundel cages. They're super tight. Uh, they really keep everything in place and I just think they look pretty damn good. I've got them on, I think, pretty much every one of my bikes um, now. They are expensive, but um, they're worth the money. Um, so those are the main things to the bike. What does it ride like? So um, this bike did win a couple of races last year. Um, it's uh, pretty quick. The um, I think, obviously, the, the, the upgrade in the wheels was a big change and when I was racing this, I was actually racing this with the Campag Borers that are on the other bike over there, uh, which are absolutely superb wheels. Um, but the um, I'm guessing, I mean, I've done a few sort of group rides with the DT Swiss on and, and they do ride really well, pretty fast, very stiff. Um, so yeah, we'll see if, if there are some not so windy races going in, um, going on hopefully sometime this year, then um, Maybe we'll see how, how, how we get on with those. Um, the other thing on the, 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 um, the Chivello is the, the physics saddle, the Antares V5. Um, so I have mainly ridden uh, physics saddles, um, predominantly the uh, physics Arioni. I've actually got the Arioni on, um, 
on this bike over here, and this is a, a sort of pretty standard Arioni with uh, the Winflex rings, and that is a really lovely saddle. I've used those on pretty much all my bikes, and actually, it's quite strange at the moment. I've changed them a lot of them around, and I haven't. Not, I'm trying to ride different saddles a bit more now, but. I would say that this Antares, I've not really um, got on too well with that. I find it a little bit uncomfortable. It's very, very hard. Um, it doesn't have the same, I think, sort of um, softness to maybe what the Ariane does. Um, but, you know, it's 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 okay. Um, but, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that it was my favourite saddle, but I've, I've, kept, I've kept going with it. And... Um, I've slightly changed the angle recently, so maybe that will make it a little bit more comfy. Um, overall, I think it's a really great frame. Um, it's really pretty stiff, but it has enough compliance at the back for it to be quite comfy. Um, I've ridden the um, Chibella S5 in the past, which has got these, the thicker seat posts here, and it's much more built up in terms of the aerodynamic nature of the S5. And I found that super uncomfortable on the British roads. Um, just it was a bit of a bone shaker. It was super fast, I have to admit, but I really didn't get on with it, and I actually ended up um, selling that. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's the um, Chevelo S3. I um, hope you found that uh, a useful guide to the to the to the, to the bike. And the only other kind of thing that I haven't really mentioned is the, uh, the group set which is the Shimano Ultegra 6800. It's okay. I mean, the brakes are work fine. The uh, gear shifting is actually pretty good, pretty easy to adjust. Um, I've not had any real problems with it. And I think one of the things about the Chevelo is as well, it's been fitted with a rotor crank, not a Shimano Ultegra crank. And I have seen a number of people have problems with the Ultegra crank. Um, where they've split or they're cracked uh, but the rotor so far has been good as gold um, not really an issue and uh, seems to be stiff and as I said it's uh, it's certainly not been an issue for me to get the power out um, so yeah I think that's that's the Javello S3 hope you found that useful